anyways finally the day to start nesting if you are new here hey i'm kalisha i am 33 weeks today pregnant with twins boy girl twins so today we are nesting um in my last video i showed you all everything i got for my baby shower a little amazon haul of the things i didn't yet have um that i still needed and of course there are still a few things on the registry um that i'll probably get at some point one thing i don't have is um like a breast pump yet so that'll come in the videos to come but today we're going to focus on getting this nursery as organized as possible i may not be able to do every single thing today because as y'all know pregnant people we get tired quick okay <laughs> and especially because i'm 33 weeks it's just i doubt i get every single thing organized today um but i definitely will in this vlog throughout the week so today what i wish to accomplish is um pretty much just washing all of the things that need to be washed um as far as bibs um sheet sets blankets um mattress pad covers hats socks onesies clothes i think i am gonna only focus on um z newborn in zero to three months i'm not gonna wash anything over that because i don't really feel like it honestly <laughs> so i'm just gonna wash all of the newborn zero to three month clothes that they're gonna be in um you know in the next few months and then i'll just hang up the bigger size clothes and when they start to you know get into those that's when i wash them um so yeah i have already started y'all saw the clutter in my last vlog that was in the living room i'll insert a picture here it was a hot mess and it's been like that for a whole week so today i was like no longer it's time to do something about that excuse me Jax. excuse me excuse me all right get off all right so mama can get up all right so this is what we're working with sorry about the lighting um it's not as bright and i don't feel like going to get my ring light but in this crib <laughs> i have clothes pretty much all of the bibs and stuff and all of the clothes for girl and all of the stuff for boy um all of this stuff is kind of colored so i'm kind of I'm kind of hoping I can just like make two loads out of all this. <laughs> we'll see. Um, then over here are like blankets, um, little teddy bears, which I think I'm supposed to wash. Although they rattle and stuff, you know, they may chew on them, play with them, all that. Um, I think I think I'm supposed to wash all these. So I'm definitely going to wash them all. Those are receiving blankets. These are swaddles. All of these are like washcloths and hooded towels. So I'm going to wash all that. These are sheets, um, changing pad covers, um, bird cloths, mattress protectors, and all of that. So I definitely want to get all of that washed. Um, so yeah, I am super excited a little overwhelmed already but i do know the first thing i need to do with all of this is take all of the tags off and all of the um like just paper wrappings and then organize it into the piles for which i think they should be washed together so let's get started So we got three loads with the exception of the blankets and like um, bed stuff and washcloths. Um, so in here I have all the bib socks, mittens, swaddles, and some of the receiving blankets. In here I have girl and boy clothes, but they're like the really light colors. Um, this one can really go over here. But they're like the really neutral colors or light, light grays and blues and pinks this is the more darker colors so we're gonna go ahead and start washing at this point i think i'm gonna start with this basket living in the light you give me
Forgetting how to slow down Okay, y'all, so it is a few hours later and I have cleared off the front table a little bit more. I've gotten what I could out of this closet. Um, I cannot lift up on that stuff, so I'm going to wait till I have a little help. This is also heavy. Can't lift that. Um, don't know where the books and the keepsakes are going to go yet, but I did clear out these drawers. Not sure what's going to go in here just yet, but I did clear them out. So now what I want to do is start putting the liners and um, what the things called the organizers in this drawer. But first I need to wipe them down. So I got some Clorox wipes um, and from Amazon I also got um, some of these drawer organizers. So I'm going to open them up, see how big they are. Um, and I already had some from a while ago, like from Walmart. They're the really, really, really cheap ones. So I'll see if I'm going to leave this in here. Um, I have a list of how I want these drawers to look. So I'm going to see if I can play around with the design and get it to my liking. So I'm about to clean these drawers up um, and then we'll start organizing. like these better than the white ones those white ones I may actually put on um, my bedside nursery postpartum cart thingy so I may save those and just use these for inside of the drawers um, there are six of this size um, in this pack then I have four of this longer size here and then also have some of these like little shoe or sock or whatever you want to put in here towels bibs you can put a lot of stuff in here because the baby stuff is small of course so there are um two of these so not really sure what i'm going to put in here just yet however i am about to um position them inside of the drawers to see what i want to go where i think i'm going to have one side um be Trey's things and one side be Leah's things so that I don't get them confused however the colors are different I know boy from girl clothes but whatever I think I'm gonna do different sides for them so let's get to organizing all right so I just got finished um what's it called putting these little organizers in the drawers of course they are subject to change um but i'm gonna show you all how they look and what i plan to put in them but in a second it may all be different however in this first drawer i did want to put like some newborn and size one diapers um some wipes and like their ointments lotions and maybe some changing pad liners um, so I don't have anything in there right now. I may use these little plastic dividers, but we'll see in a second. Over here, top drawer to the right, I wanted to put like um, some burp cloths, some muslin blankets, pacifiers, clips, um, maybe swaddles, health essentials if I didn't already say that. Um, so that's what's going to go in here. We will see if that stays the same. Um, second drawers is where their clothes are going to go. So I have it like identical, but flip flopped. So in these like individual thingies, it's going to be, um, onesies, socks, mittens, hats, maybe shoes, shoes may go in the closet, but onesies, socks, mittens, hats for sure. Their clothes, whether it be leggings, onesies, sleepers, whatever. Um, and then we may put... And then I may put another long one here, actually, instead of those short ones for more clothes. We'll see. Right now, I just have those two square ones there, but we'll see what I'm able to fit in these. 
Um, don't know yet what I'm going to do down here. This is just right now miscellaneous. So I just put those in here for right now. And these are the ones that I do have left over from the two um, kits. So I'm going to go ahead and start folding clothes and actually putting things in the drawer. I am so excited. few hours later and it still looks very chaotic in here however i'm making progress and i actually have a little help now my mom is actually here i already know she don't want to be on the camera so i ain't gonna i ain't gonna put her on there but um over here i have all of the newborn stuff long sleeve white onesies short sleeve um colored designer whatever onesies little jacket onesie type things leggings these are these are all the like sleep and play sets and then these are like some sets that come with long sleeve onesies and leggings um then over here this stuff still has to be washed this is garbage um this is the too big stuff like six months nine months going up so i'm gonna fold that and put that somewhere other than the actual dresser right now um and then these are all the zero to three months stuff so long sleeve onesies um short sleeve onesies and little play sets these are onesies t-shirts and leggings um play sets and sleepers leggings and regular t-shirts um, my mom is busy over here folding all of the towels, swaddles, muslin blankets, and then we got socks, bibs, hats, and, and, uh, and other stuff down in there. I, I'm, it's just so much stuff. So I'm about to start um, rolling some of this stuff up, putting it in the drawer, seeing how much can fit, hopefully. The plan I have in my head actually happens in the drawers, so we'll see. day um it is sunday the 25th september 25th um and we got a lot done last night as you saw but today my goal is to get this closet as organized as possible so what i already did last night to get a jump start on that is as you can see i already um unpackaged some racks as you can see these all of them don't match but they do match the aesthetic of the room um i went on and hung up some clothes that didn't belong in the drawers and that are way too big for them right now these however are newborn um but i did put up the little um closet dividers and they're hanging up according to sizes so i have that in right now with extra racks um my goal for up here i do have a chest like a wood um chest it isn't even wood i can't think of the exact name right now but i want it to house all of the um diapers and stuff because i don't want these boxes out i just don't think that's cute um so i want it to be hid and i want it to look aesthetically pleasing in here <laughs> um so i've gotten those boxes that were up there they're under the bed over there the 
bed skirt once I put that on is going to cover that up also plan to get rid of all of these those are books we haven't put the bookshelves up yet so they'll just stay in there for right now those are keepsake things that i'm gonna find a place for today hopefully this playpen is gonna just have to go in the living room for right now because i really want to get this closet organized and it cannot stay in here and i don't think i'll be keeping it at my house either what i'm most excited about came in the mail yesterday is this door hanging organizer so it's gonna go of course on this door and i think there are like six layers yep um so we're gonna get a lot of storage out of this so i'm gonna open this bad baby up and try to like assemble it and put it on the door and we're gonna start organizing it another thing i need to do is um wash all the blankets and the plush animals i need to do that i need to make up their bed go ahead and put the bed skirt and the sheets on um definitely gonna go ahead and do that um but other than that like i said i'm about to put this door hanging organizer up and then we're gonna see how much stuff we can get in there how much stuff we can get cleared off of my dining room table um because matter of fact let me go ahead and show y'all that because it's still a mess so these are toys that I'm hoping to organize somewhere in the closet, some more safety stuff, a um, few little bath essentials. Of course, those have to be actually like set up. So Carlos is going to do that when he comes this weekend. Looks like we got another bag with some more stuff just added. Oh, another door organizer. So we'll see what we can do with that. Um, and then shoes that I need to organize somewhere um and all of this is to go stuff so this actually has to go in my closet except for like the carrier and all of this other, i'm not my closet my trunk my car <laughs> um so yeah all this stuff will pretty much be staying here until it goes in my car so and this is the chest i was talking about that i want all the pampers and stuff to go in it's pretty deep um so i really just want to sit the boxes in there as many boxes as i can probably not very many <laughs> and the rest will just go under the crib and be hidden by the bed skirt so let's start organizing This is how it looks once you put it up. This is gonna be a lot of storage. This is exactly what I needed for sure. So it does have three little clear pouches and then one, two, three, four, five, um, like other little layers. Um, they also, a perk which I didn't know, it has little sticky things on the back. So I can actually like peel this and it'll stick to the door so that it doesn't like swing open every time the door opens. And I really like that. However, I'm not gonna do that yet. I wanna be sure that I have enough stuff to like fit in here, store in here before it's like permanent. So I'm just gonna leave it like that for right now. Um, my mom actually wanna go to the store and buy more stuff as if we haven't already or not organized what we have here. So we're about to go to the store and I'll resume this a little bit later. All right, y'all, so it's a few days later and I wanted to show you all all of the progress we made. We managed to clear off the dining room table, thank God, and this is how the dresser drawers turned out. Um, as you can see, I have all essentials up top, bird cloths, blankets, healthcare essentials, diapers, all that good stuff. The second drawers are all of the twins' clothes, boys on the left, girls on the right third drawer those are bigger clothes as you can see um and to the right are all bath washcloths hooded towels swaddles and all that good stuff excuse the wrinkle bed skirt i'll steam that at some point but if you look close enough underneath it we did manage to hide some wipes and diapers along with swings and stuff on the opposite crib this little bedside table in the center of the cribs the top actually comes off which allows for more storage so inside of there i have all the 
um, crib sheets, extra crib sheets, extra changing pad covers, and a few little blankets. And then over near the window in there, I have more blankets, plush toys, animals, and rattles. Um, and inside the closet, which I feel will never be completely organized until I like sanitize everything and babies probably are actually here and I get more storage containers, but this is how it looks so far. Um, and this is the door organizer, which I do have a few things in it. But um, yeah, so that's all we managed to get done this week in the room. Um, so be sure to stay tuned for the final nursery tour so you can see how everything turns out. See you guys next week.